Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the 5 Minute Facebook Ministry. Giving God all the glory. My name is Anthony Daniels. <clears throat> and today we're coming out of the book of Matthew, the 5th chapter, the 22nd verse. That's Matthew 5 and 22. And it reads out of the King James Version. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Rakai, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thy fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Again, under the King James Version, But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Rakai, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever shall say, Thy fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Now these, these again, are the words of Jesus Christ. And this is coming out of the, uh, the Sermon on the Mount. And Jesus is telling us that if you are angry with your brother, and, and in the text, that's brother or sister, not just your brother. Um, the, the, he, uh, the word for brother is bro it, it, during those times for brother and sister. So if you are angry with your brother or sister without a cause, and that's just not your, your blood brother or sister, that is your brother or sister, another man or woman, so I'll be in danger of judgment. So a, a lot of us are walking around with anger for no reason. We're just mad. And, and we have to get over that anger. That anger places us in the danger of the judgment. And, and that judgment is a negative judgment that will result in us losing eternal life. So, so we need to get rid of anger. And the way we get rid of anger is to forgive. Forgive people. That's how you get rid of anger within yourself. That's why forgiving is for you and not for other people. And it says, And whosoever shall say to his brother, Rakai, which means empty or empty-headed, according to the notes in the NIV Bible, Rakai, Rakai means empty or empty-headed, shall be in danger of the council. Now, when he says the council, um, he's talking about the council of men, that, that, if, that if you insult your brother, that, that, you, that you are, you may, you may go before the council of men to be judged. Okay, uh, but that's not God. But it says, but whosoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Shall be in danger of hell fire. So, it, what we've got to understand from this verse is, is that one, we can't be angry with our brothers and sisters. We, we can't walk around just being angry at people. Uh, anger is something that, that we need to get out of us, especially if anger for no cause. I mean, you know, we get to a point where somebody has done something to us, and that's, it happened so long ago, but we walk around, and every time they say something or do something or we see them, we get angry. They just, they just you know, that's, that's, that's being angry with somebody with no cause. Even though they've done something to you long ago, you know, you, you've got to get past that. You've got to get over it. And, and, in, and, it, and even here it says, you know, if you call your brother empty hater, if you call him a name, let's say any name, you know, then, then you're subject to the council. And even today, we judge each other based on, oh, he's not a nice person. Oh, he's rude. Because we, we call each other names because we're insulting the people. Okay, but then it says, whoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. So, so as, you, as, you get to that, as you get into that, that, that frame where you constantly insult the people and call people names, personal attacks on people, you are in danger of hell fire. And the biggest reason of this is because you are no longer showing God's love for your fellow man. Now, that's what I'm saying. You are in danger of hell fire because you are no longer showing love for your fellow man. Because if you love your fellow man, you're not going to do these type of things. And, and you know, people say, oh, so if I call somebody a fool, I'm going to hell? No, if you call, if you call somebody a fool, that means that you want, or, or similar words, that means that you probably don't love that person. And you need to work on your loving that person so that you don't do things that cause them harm or that hurt them by insulting them. So, so that's what we have to get out of this verse. That the words that we use can condemn us to hell because it shows a pattern of how we're living. It shows a pattern of how we're living. All of these things that, that Jesus says is part of a pattern of living so that we can obtain eternal life. And part of that is loving our fellow man. And as you look at these things that God, that, that Jesus describes, 
and says that you you know you can you're in danger of judgment, you know, in danger of the council, or you're in danger of hell fire. These are things that are against the principle of love, which he's given us. And he says, I give you a new commandment to love your brother as you love yourself. And we have to we have to follow that new commandment that Jesus has given us. To love our brothers, we love ourselves. And, and this is all about love. And that love comes from God. The love that we need to have from our fellow, for, our, for our fellow man comes from God. And we can only express that love through God in us. So remember that, you know, I'm living, I'm walking, I'm walking every day knowing that God resides in me, knowing that Jesus is in me. You know, Jesus said in, uh, in John that he is in God, God is in him, and he's in us. And, 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 and you know, there, there's, there's God, there's a Holy Spirit, and, and uh, there's Jesus. And there's God, there's a Holy Spirit, there's Jesus, and there's us. It's, it's a four-person combination. You are, that first el you, you are that fourth element. When you're a personal relationship with Christ, you are that fourth element. There's God, there's Jesus, there's the Holy Spirit. They are one. And when you become a Christian, you become one with them. You become one with them. You are, no, you are not a God, but you are one with God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Because they are all inside of you. They, they, they reside in your temple, the temple of you. So we have, when, when, when we walk in that, when we understand that, then it's easy for us to love our fellow man. And we naturally don't do these things that condemn us to hellfire or that put us in danger of hellfire. Mm. So let's walk in that. Let's know who we are in Jesus Christ. And let's walk in that love that God wants us to show for our fellow man. Whew. That's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Have a great day.